Hey everyone, I'm Sugantha and you're watching Ready to Get Update and welcome back to my channel. And yes, we are discussing some good questions, your queries, my answers and uh, so yes, this is the second session. This is actually not a second session, this is around the sixth or seventh session. Please do check your queries, my answers from the pin comment. You can check other sessions, other playlists as well as I have introduced a course that's in English. So you can check that as well okay so here i'm getting good queries and i want to answer them face to face that's why i'm doing these sessions so you can post uh, interesting queries over here right so i would be reading this query and then i would be answering it okay so this is hello madam i came across one of work from home opportunity as a hr i want to know how to charge and when to charge exactly means at the time of offer letter or at the time of joining or annually etc even I want to help in framing HR policy and this discussion would be more comfortable if you provide direct contact. Uh, your early reply will be highly appreciated. Okay, so uh, I won't be able to provide uh, contact but yes, this face to face is uh, will be comfortable for you and uh, you can uh, post the series of queries uh, under this uh, session. If you feel that your query is not answered now you said i came across one of work from home opportunity as a hr now um, i'm a little bit confused with this because if you have got work from home opportunity this could be that uh, uh, you have got work from opportunity uh, from an office where a proper salary system would be there or uh, when you are asking about the fees then i am thinking that uh, you are working as a freelancer i think okay so i'm taking this query as a freelancer or i'm taking uh, a query um, considering that uh, there is no salary system over here and you have to charge fees that okay. you want to know okay so uh, all the people who want to do freelance work or uh, who are working uh, uh, from home or uh, they want to work from home they want to do freelancing this query will help you all and uh, yes this query will help the people who are looking for framing HR policy as well okay so let's get started with it and uh, yes I appreciate your interest to to have a conversation direct conversation but yes this is more feasible so okay so I would be breaking down in this into few points and uh, then we will be talking about so let's move on to this so first is consultation fee for HR services now see you have to determine whether you want to charge a one-time consultation fee or if you prefer a retainer model for ongoing services okay so common approaches include charging uh, you know a fixed fee for specific services and this uh, fee structure can vary based on your expertise scope of services and the duration of the engagement now you have to research about this like uh, what kind of capabilities you have what kind of skills you have what kind of expertise you have and what kind of services you are providing and to which company okay so this fee can be based on this now timing of payment decide whether you will charge upfront at specific project milestones or uh, upon completion of the entire engagement for long-term commitments uh, you might consider invoicing on a monthly or quarterly basis like if they have long-term commitment so you can uh, invoice it on monthly or quarterly basis now uh, discussing uh, payment terms clearly communicate your fee structure and payment terms during initial discussions with your clients with your potential clients company whoever is there okay so this helps manage expectations and yes it will avoid uh, misunderstandings later as well because it could be that uh, you might face these issues later on so it's better to communicate it properly and it's better you can ask them what they are offering okay so that you can get an idea you can have a general idea that uh, this kind of work get how much payment okay next uh, uh, you're talking about framing hr policies okay so i would be telling you framing hr policies for work from home setup okay so when creating hr policies for a work from home setting consider elements such as what remote work expectations including working hours and communication protocols that's really important work expectations remote work expectations in which working hours what will be the working hours and what will be the communication protocols we all know that when work from home is there then yes we need to have more communicative because in face to face uh, environment it's really easy to communicate things properly but when you are doing work from home then it becomes difficult to communicate if communication channels are not properly established okay next is equipment and technology requirements you need to take 
you need to draft policies regarding equipment and technology requirements what are technology will be required what all equipments are required and how they will be issued next is data security and confidentiality see everyone is working from home you are working from home then uh, data security and confidentiality is important you need to draft policies regarding this performance evaluation and feedback processes i'm giving guidance to you how you can make these policies in a better way uh, i can't draft policies over here because you need to ask the uh, company as well what you can do is you can draft these points that we need to draft policies regarding this and then you can discuss with the company okay next is health and safety considerations for remote work and uh, yes guidelines for handling remote team collaboration and meetings that's again important okay so i hope so uh, this is clear to you that uh, how you can frame hr policy what all points you need to consider while framing hr policies okay now yes customization and legal compliance you need to tailor hr policies to the specific needs and nature of the work from home arrangement not all policies can be uh, you know compatible with every kind of uh, work from home culture that's why i said that i can't uh, frame the policies over here ensure that your policies comply with relevant labor laws and regulations in the jurisdictions where your clients operate very important you need to consider about the laws and regulations now again this uh, last point is contractual agreements now draft clear and comprehensive contractual agreements outlining the scope of your services deliverables payment terms and any other relevant terms and conditions very important now yes i again say that uh, remember you need to remember that clear communication and transparency when discussing payment terms and delivering services okay so communication is really important and yes i will advise to have a well defined contract or agreement so that both parties are safe and yes one thing if you are unsure about legal and compliances then yes you must take an advice of an expert you must take an advice of uh, their company's legal professional as well yes they might be having and they might draft a contract or agreement for you between you and them and then you can read the terms you can research about those terms what all is written and then you can uh, ask for modulations as well okay so they are two ways first is when we are aware then we are offering them contract when we are not aware about uh, how to draft actually all the terms and conditions then we can ask from the company and they can provide you and then you can check all the terms and conditions and you will get to know what all terms and conditions are there okay so i hope so your query is answered and if it's not answered you can uh, ask in the comment section and even the other people who are watching this session can ask right a lot of sessions are there in the pen comment please do check them and yes post your queries and if it's helpful please do let me know in the comment section see you till next video all the very best stay happy stay safe thanks for watching bye bye